box. It is already opened. I did not try anything on yet, but I do know what's in here. Just because I have one day to kind of try this stuff on and decide what I want because Mark and I are going out of town and my mother happened to be here when I got my box. So I went ahead and let her try everything on. That way, just in case it doesn't fit me, if she wants it, I already know and I can go ahead and check out without having to wait on her. <laughs> so she's hoping that not all of this is going to fit. but. I hope it does because I really do like everything in it. What I asked for this time, and I, I do still have my stylus that I've had pretty much my entire, I think this is fix number eight, my entire eight fixes. There is one or two where I didn't have her, but Tatiana, she's really awesome. And I feel like she really gets me. So I like to stick with her just because I really fear getting another stylist. I've been reading on the Stitch Fix boards on Facebook where people are losing their stylus and I'm like, oh man, I hope that doesn't happen. So. What I asked for were a pair of black jeans from Cut From The Cloth. I asked for some short sleeve blouses and I refer, I specifically asked for two tops but she didn't have them, I'm assuming. I haven't read the note, I just looked to see if it was still my stylist. But I don't think I have the right Pinterest board linked because I asked for short sleeve blouses and I had my Pinterest board. But I have two boards. I have one where I pin specific things for that fix. And then I have another one where if I just see something I like, I save it in there for me to go through later. I think I saved the wrong one, the save one, um, because the last couple fixes are not what I specific, I've liked them, it's just not what I was specifically looking for. So I'm gonna have to check on that and change it. Just a little reminder to myself, I'm putting it on camera so I see it later and, re and remember to change that. All right, so here's my bag if I wanna send anything back. Here's my envelope with my goodies inside. I've got the price sheet. And it's not too bad. And then my note, I'll read you guys the note. Vanessa, how are you? Cut from the cloth jean in black it is. How about the boot cut pair? Which is perfect. I did not specify what kind of style or cut I wanted the jeans, but I need some boot cut. So I don't have any, so that's perfect. I have the same one and absolutely love it. The knit tops you mentioned in the requests unfortunately were not available today. But I found the lace detail striped top you pinned, which was pinned on my save link or my save board, not the one that I meant her to look at. So, oh well. <laughs> Wear it with a jean and fashion sneakers. That's one thing I'm going to ask for in my next box is fashion sneakers because I don't have any. The silk blouse is very similar to the burgundy blouse you pinned. It's a fantastic piece for dressier occasions and you'll enjoy how light it is. Layer it with soft cardigans to transition to fall when the weather gets cooler. The three quarter sleeve mustard top is a fall classic and is perfect for everyday wear with jeans. Since you mentioned previously that you need bigger bags, I'm sending the super versatile and fun tote. It's roomy enough to hold your essentials and your kids' things. Happy styling, all the best, Tatiana. Which is awesome. I did request some small, or I had some small bags pinned, but then when I got them in and I, you know, moved my stuff over into it just to see, I was like, nope, I'm so used to having a big bag with kids that. I can't even see myself with a small one, so that's awesome. Here are my style cards. So we shall see. I've got my new Victoria's Secret bra on, so we'll see if I can feel the difference trying these clothes on. I'm excited. All right. First thing first is the tote. I really love this color. But it also scares me. I don't, I mean, I guess I could just throw it on with anything for a pop of color, but I don't know how often I would use it. So this is the Under One Sky Anya Reversible 3-in-1 Tote in Mustard. And it is $74, which is, I thought it was going to be more than that. So it just has the two shoulder straps. And then a little, I don't know what you would call this, but not really a clasp, it kind of just pulls through there. 
And then here's the inside. I don't get the three in one. Let me see if this tells me. Change my look to fit your style. Reversible tote and crossbody. Okay, so here's the tote. And then inside, it looks like there's just, you know, a big zipper part in the middle. But let's see if I can take this out without a problem. Oh, it just snaps in there. Well, that's super convenient. So I can just pull this out and then that just makes this one big tote. There's no, no side pockets or anything like that. And then there's this extra bag. Okay, I kind of like that. It has a detail on the front there. Kind of like, oh, so it's a laser cutout. That's what that detail is, a laser cutout. So you could use this as a shoulder or a crossbody. You can use it short and long. Let's see what the inside of this thing looks like. Oh, okay, this is nice. So in here, there's a different pattern going on, which is always nice. Neat to see. There's some extra side pockets here. And then on this side, there's a zipper pocket. Can you see that? There we go. Okay, I, I like this. I like this. I don't necessarily need a big purse. I have three, but not in this color. So, and the fact that it's, you know, two purses. And we'll see how everything else fits. All right. I'm gonna pull these out. Okay, first top. Now, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you've already seen a sneak peek of everything in here because I posted the photos from my iPhone when I peeked, which I do now. I didn't in the beginning, but now I peek. I'll, maybe I'll try not to next time. So you've already seen the tops. I love this color and it is very lightweight, which I love, but it's not, I mean, it's, it's kind of semi sheer. I think it would be okay. I wouldn't have to wear anything under it, but this is Daniel Rain Halstead V-neck silk blouse, teal green, size large. And it does look, I don't think I'll have any fitting issues. I'm not quite sure. I never know until I put it on across the chest. But this is $78. That is a little bit pricey just for this kind of shirt. I guess because it's silk, but it's really pretty. So it looks short sleeves, a v-neck, has this little kind of like a ruching. I don't know what you would call that. A ruching detail up here by the shoulders and just plain and simple in the back. That's pretty. I really do love the color. Okay, the next one is the mustard one she was talking about. And yeah, that's mustard. I guess in between, you can see it next to the purse. So this is also Daniel Rain. This is three quarter sleeve and it is the La Mira Woven Detail Knit Top color mustard, size large, and this one is $58. So I really like, I wasn't really looking for long three quarter length sleeves just yet, just because it's not going to be getting that cold for me for another month maybe. So it just depends on when I put it on, but I like the scoop neck. I like the detail on here. It's got this pretty, I don't even know what that is. Kind of like a it, it chevron looks chevron to me. It goes down a little bit in the front. And then on the back, it's this really soft material, but it has this little part, like mid down of a different kind of fabric, like a sheer fabric. And then it has a large keyhole. This is really pretty. I like the color. I don't know if it would look good on me. It's very, just because of my skin tone along with my hair, I feel like it's kind of all the same, but we'll, we'll see what it looks like when I put it on. So the yellows, like the yellows and the reds kind of scare me and purple. I just, I don't know why I stay away from purple. Okay. This is the one that I have on my Pinterest board. This is so pretty and I have a ton of stripes in my closet. Oh my gosh. So I might not get this. We'll see. I'll have to try it on. But this is Market and Spruce Gillia Lace Detail Knit Top in gray, size large. And it is $58. I just love it. I love it. I love the white and the gray stripes. And then it is a three quarter, a long three quarter length sleeve, but it has a button tab, which I just love this detail. Then it has the 
sheer lace in the front, kind of up the shoulders, along the v-neck, but then it also goes through the back a little ways. So I just really love this top. I hope this fits. I hope it fits. And then I'm gonna get it and then I'm gonna count how many striped shirts I have in my closet. <laughs> okay, so the last are what I requested. The black jeans from Cut From The Cloth. They are size 12 and I almost feel like Cut From The Cloth, the two pairs of jeans that I have, yeah, these are, are stretchy too. I feel like I need to ask for a 10 because they stretch. So the white Cut From The Cloth pants that I received a few boxes ago are already, they're size 12, but they're loose because I wear them so often. So I think I'm gonna start, this is 12S. Ooh, I don't know, we'll have to, we will have to check. But these are cut from the cloth, Simmons boot cut jean in black, size 12, and $88, which I, I knew that asking for them. They're all pretty much the same. So I really like the fact that they're boot cut, boot cut. there's no distressing, it's just a nice, normal black jean. There you can see the kind of boot cut style. So I'm excited to try these on. All right. Okay, so this is the silk blouse and it fits perfectly. I was almost worried because like I said at the beginning, my mother tried all this stuff on and it fit her perfectly. So I was afraid that because I'm bare in the chest area that these were gonna be too tight, but it feels so nice. I don't, I didn't check to see what percent silk it was or anything like that, but I don't own anything with any kind of silk in it. So this is really nice. And I mean, of course, this kind of color scheme, I love the blues and greens and teals and turquoises, all that stuff. So this is really pretty. I like it, everything about it. So I'm pretty sure I'm gonna keep this. This is one of the ones that my mom wants, but I like it and it feels really nice. So I don't know if it's because I have a new Victoria's Secret bra on or if it's just the shirt, but yay. Okay, so here are the Cut From The Cloth jeans. And just like every other Cut From The Cloth item I own, they fit perfectly and I just like them. I do not own boot cut. I'm a little concerned with what I'll be able to wear with them because obviously boot cut, you can't just cut up. Um, I only own one pair of booties. I don't really wear high heel shoes. So I'm gonna have to check and see if I'm just gonna be wearing these with the booties or or what. So I really need, I want like a pair of shoes that are a pop of color, kind of like the purse, but maybe in like a pink or even, even this kind of color, just because I own so much in this color scheme, I'd be able to wear them with a lot. I don't know, I really want some wedges too. So let me know what you guys do with boot cut jeans. This is the very first pair I've owned since like high school. So I don't know, I definitely can't wear flats with them. Uh, I guess I could try cupping the, them up, I don't know. Are you supposed to cup up boot, boot cut jeans? We'll see. But they are, I mean, so comfortable. I just love cut from the cloth. It's my absolutely favorite brand of pants. Okay, so this one fits perfectly. It's just a little more form-fitting than what I prefer, what I like. So, and just the color scares me. I mean, like, it's, I don't know. It's a pretty color. I just don't know how it looks on me. I like the color, but it's just, it's too form-fitting. It's, it's like hugging all of my little areas that I don't like. And this is why I wear loose, flowy tops. So, mom. <laughs> I know you're watching this. You're my biggest fan. Uh, this one's all yours. I'm, the, I mean, I just, I can't wear this one. Here's a close-up of the detail, the lace detail on this top. I just, I love this top, but just like the mustard one, it's form-fitting. Now, the stripes do help a little bit with taking kind of making me look a little smaller than I am, but it's still pretty form-fitting. So I don't think I'm going to keep this one. Um, I'm going to have to maybe like price everything and see if it's worth it to keep to sell or or what. I had this one buttoned wrong. <laughs> it's a really pretty shirt. I love it and it's not, it fits well. It's just too 
form fitting for me. I want to love it just because of the color scheme and the stripes. But the detail, it's such a pretty shirt. I just don't know. I don't know if I, if, I guess I just need to get more comfortable in my own skin so I can love these tops. But for right now, I would just feel uncomfortable wearing this. Okay, sorry for the crazy hair in this video and my my shirt. I've been cleaning house, getting ready to go on this trip, and I got the box and I was like, okay, I need to hurry up and make this video. So I didn't really have time to make myself look a little more put together for you guys. So I kept the jeans on because they're super comfortable. I'm keeping them. And I really like this top. It's just a little more pricey than I've spent. So I don't know what to do. I don't know if I should keep, I don't know. I, I'm i gonna have to see if my mom wants these two. If she wants this one and this one, I guess I'll just keep it all for the discount. If she only wants this one, I might just keep the pants. Just because, I mean, I don't know. I really like this one, but I have so much, I mean, I have a lot of blue. It's just really pretty. Um, I wonder if though, because it's so warm here, silk, I mean, will it, if I get sweaty, will it show? <laughs> those are the thing, those are the things I have to think about when I'm picking out these type, this type of material living in Texas, because I mean, I sweat, not a ton, but enough to wear it's gonna show in my armpits if, if it's that kind of material. So, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I don't know about the purse either. It's not like, I mean, I really love it. It's beautiful, it's pretty, it's big. It's a nice pop of color, which I, I could make work. And the fact that it's basically two purses in one, I just don't need it. So, I might, I don't know. Right now, I'm just gonna say I'm just keeping the jeans. That's the one thing I, I requested I need it for my wardrobe so unless you guys can talk me into keeping something else we'll see tomorrow I know I've mentioned wearing a new bra the video tomorrow is actually about me going to Victoria's Secret and purchasing some new bras that I've been saying I think I was gonna do forever so you guys can check that out tomorrow if you're interested in seeing what I paid at Victoria's Secret for some new intimate items um, but that's it for Stitch Fix. I'm kind of torn on what to do with this box. Oh, prices. I guess you guys want to know the prices, right? You already know the individual prices. So the subtotal for all these items is $356. The buy five discount of 25% if you keep all the items is $89, which is basically the jeans. And I get my styling fee purchased or I get the styling fee purchase credited back and that's $20. So the whole box would be $247, which isn't that bad if you count this as two purses, a pair of nice jeans, a silk top, and two other tops on top of that. It's not a bad price. It's just that since I'm getting two in a month, I've quickly realized that if I'm keeping everything twice a month, that is way too much for me to be spending. So I might have to, Tatiana is that good that I'm going to have to go back to just one box a month <laughs> and just hope and hope and hope that it's, you know, five out of five every month. But, oh, I don't know what to do. If you guys have any suggestions, let me know. I always love reading what you guys think looks good on me, what you think doesn't work, because when I look at myself in the mirror, it's completely different than when somebody else is looking at you, and I value y'all's opinions. It helps me out a lot. So with that, if you guys like this box, give my video a thumbs up. So if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. I do post every day, and with that, I will see you guys again tomorrow with Victoria's Secret. Bye.